Your man loves you, but he doesn't like you. And here's why. Hey guys, my name is Michael D. Ballard, the marriage pastor. I am a love, sex, and attachment expert for the kingdom of God. My assignment Hi. is to make sure that you have a more loving, Hi. satisfying, and Hi. fulfilling love life. Hi. And that's my Hi. son, Cameron. Say hi. Hey. Say, we're going to show you how to save your family. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. So I'm sitting here with my son. Oh. As you can see, he's attacking me. But something came to my spirit that I felt like I needed to share. And it was a conversation that I've listened to when some, I'm not sure if it was a podcast or something on the radio that it was showing that yeah. a young lady... Hold on, hold on, hold on, baby, hold on. A young lady was saying how she felt like her, her guy didn't like her. Or that how it felt like men just don't seem like they like women. And, you know, and they're quick to, like, you know, sleep with them and everything like that. And, like, they get tired of the relationship, you know what I'm saying, and, uh, quickly. And they kind of just go off and, and will find other women. And... Um, me myself dealt with that even in my marriage. I remember, hey, um, hey, hi, hi. I remember. Um, hey, hold on, Cameron. Mom. Hold on, baby. Oh, Cameron. Oh. I remember my wife was saying, you know, sometimes I feel like you don't like me. Like, I don't know why. Um, now, my years of just studying and understanding how we're wired, how human development is between men and women. That just gave me a revelation. The Holy Spirit, let me kiss. The Holy Spirit gave me a revelation of why that is and why it seems that way. And it all goes down to the purpose and, and functionality to how He made men and women. He made women with a larger capacity for emotional patience. A larger capacity for emotional patience and I understood that because like as, as of right now my wife she's 32 weeks pregnant and he was the Holy Spirit said Michael you have to understand something what it takes for a body to carry another human being is extremely beautiful powerful and complex the emotions that are in you guys are so strong and so powerful that when I created woman, I knew that. So I gave her. Hold on, son. Hey. Camera, camera. Hold on, baby. Hold on. I'm sorry, guys. You said, this is what happens, right? And this is the emotional patience I'm talking about. You to 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 raise a child in a nurturing way, to carry a child in a nurturing way. The emotional energy and complexity of a human being. Is being carried in a woman and she's sharing a bloodline with that child to a degree, right? She's sharing functionality with that child. So she has to have a larger capacity for emotional patience in order to just physically carry and incubate another human being, okay, by, by her design. Men, on the other hand, because of their, oh mas their masculine energy, they're they're designed to complete tasks. They're designed to be to stay focused and to get jobs done. Which means their level of emotional patience on average is not as bad as a woman because they have to get a job done. Things need to be done in a timely fashion. Okay, I'm gonna hug you. I'm gonna hug you. Right, just like now. I mean, even this is showing the emotional patient, most men who are masculine, this would be very annoying to them to have a child jumping around. They're like, I just need for you to get to the point. But women who have that, who, who, who operate in that feminine energy, they see this as beautiful, right? Because of their capacity, because of how they're designed. So how that all ties into why your man don't like you. He may love you, but he, he don't like you, right? 
It's because he doesn't have the emotional patience to actually deal with your idiosyncrasies, Stop your it. traits, Stop your it, habits. Daddy. Men are very straightforward because of how they're designed. Mm -hmm. So he will sleep mm -hmm. with you because when he sleeps with you, it's a very straightforward mm -hmm. act. There's not a lot of emotional patience that's needed to have sex with a woman. It's very straightforward. And that's why normally when he's done, he's back to he's back to whatever it is his assignment is. It's because of how he's designed. Now that does not mean that he should be mean to you or a jerk. And this is another reason why hold on, Cameron, relax. This is another reason why God teaches men now how to love his wife. Wife, he's not saying that he's incapable of loving his wife. He's saying that because he needs men to be mindful of their actions. They have to be intentional in how they handle and deal with their wives. Women, not as much because they have the emotional capacity and patience to be able to deal with women. This is why women are normally in the position of being nurturer because they have the emotional patience for children. They even have the emotional patience for men. This is why women tend to stay in more abusive and toxic relationships longer than men because they have the emotional capacity to forgive and have the emotional uh, capacity to deal with the messed up stuff that men deal with versus men don't. That's why they're quick to get rid of women. They're quick to, to not like women because they don't really know how if they're not conscious of it, they don't know how to deal with or nurture a woman as she is. So again, fellas, this is not to say that you're supposed to treat women bad or not be there. This is to be under to understand and be mindful that you have to be more intentional with your woman. You have to be more patient and kindness, but this is about you becoming more self-aware and you have an emotional intelligence. Again, <clears throat> It's because how he designed us. So our nat natural function is for a man to be short tempered and to have less patience. That's why they make better leaders because they can get tasks done quicker without being emotionally tied to it. Whereas women are mostly connected to things. They, they do more with the development of relationships and the nurturing relationships. Now, if you're a man and you know how to tap into your feminine energy, in those moments, then you are more nurturing. You are better at teaching. And it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't mean that you can't. It just means that you have to become more aware of what's happening inside of you so that you can be more mindful. So if, well, ladies, if you're ever in a relationship where you feel like your man don't like you, and it don't matter how bad you look, how beautiful you look, how bad your body is. Because I know I deal with a lot of men who can't understand why they sleep with these beautiful women. And after they're done, they just don't like them anymore. That's because you never developed the emotional intelligence because you don't have the emotional capacity to learn how to deal with the idiosyncrasies and the personality and the traits and the development of a woman. That's why it's wrong for a woman. Hold on, baby. Hold on. It's wrong for a woman to think that because you're sleeping with them or that you're beautiful, that that's going to be enough to keep them. No, he has to be emotionally aware. And emotionally intelligent to be able to be your man, to be able to handle a relationship. So I just want you guys to be mindful of what's happening to you so that you don't keep on making these same mistakes and wonder why it's not working. Wonder why you're beautiful and you all look all this good. You give him all the sex, but he don't like you. He don't know how to deal with your personality. He don't know how to stay with you. A man has to be Cameron. A man has to be emotionally intelligent enough to be in a relationship, even with children, just like with my son. This, when I wasn't aware, this would be very irritating and annoying to me and cause me to react in negative ways. Because I'm becoming more aware of what's happening to me, I'm becoming more patient with my son, with my wife, and with people. So this is Michael D. Ballard, the marriage pastor, teaching men how to be more emotionally aware and to have more emotional capacity to be better husbands, to be better fathers and women. Understand what's happening. Don't get offended. It's not you. It's him. I love you guys with the love of Christ. See you later. Come on, son. Let's play.